Hello, this is Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you this adorable little project I made. Let me zoom in just a little, sorry, just a little bit here. This is uh, something that I'm new to, and it is called Twisters, which are little uh, kind of twisting front and back stamped images from Art Impressions. So I fell in love with this one, obviously because it's a llama and I had to have it. So um, I bought them for my shop. Uh, I got what I could. They're on back order right now. Uh, so I only have a certain amount. And then as soon as they're not on back order, I will get more. But I didn't realize is that if you see this, you also kind of need this die for this opening here because it's a special uh, die. And I didn't get those. And I thought, you know, we can do this without the die. All we need is this set. So this is a set of two, three, excuse me, three stamps. It's the front of the llama, the back of the llama, and this, which says, Happy Birthday, You Fabulous Creature. Okay, so this is the three stamps, and it's the two dies to cut out beautifully the front and the back of the llama with this little notch on the top. So he's got the little notch in the top and the bottom. So, um, and I am also using today this Photoplay Paprika set, which is gorgeous and llama themed. I don't have that in my shop. But what I, so what I did, uh, and I will show you how to use it. I created this free template, and this is a way of cutting out the perfect size for, of a hole here for a card. You can also use this stamp, uh, just color it, and you can even use this to cut it out, and then just cut off the notches at the top and bottom and you can just use it as a regular stamp. You don't have to do this as a twister, but it is so adorable this way. And let's get started. I will show you the whole thing. So for this, what I did, I cut, actually, I wanted it a little taller. So this is actually um, six inches by eight and a half. And I scored it down the middle at four and a quarter. Got a little burnish. Now I want to make a mat for this, and I'm going to do that first. And so this is six inches, so I'm going to take a half inch off of each measurement, make it five and a half by three and three quarters. Let's see if we can pick out a different paper. We could use the same paper, but let's look for something. Ooh, I like that stripe right there. So let's look and, ooh, I love the cut apart. Let's see if I can find the, they got camels and llamas. There's the stripes right there. I like the stripes. And I'm thinking, which way? I kind of like the stripes going this way. Okay, so let me cut that down. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it this way. Let's get the paper glue out. Glue this in place. I want to get that mat on there first. Now that that's cut out, we need to get our um, template going. So when you print these out, this is a PDF, when you print it on your printer, the default setting is fit to page. You want to switch it to print actual size. And then when you do that, you will see that this little one inch square, measure it out with your ruler, and if it's exactly one inch, then you've got the right dimensions. All we need to do is cut one of these out. And then I want to make sure that I get this fairly straight and I want to put it kind of down toward the bottom of my page because as you see here I have a stamped image on the top and I want to do that again. So what I'm going to do is take my ruler. Um, you can also just mark with a lightly with a pencil a center line down here. So, oops. So like so if I do this and I can say half of four and a half is two and one eighth, I can make a light mark there, two and one eighth, two and one eighth, and I know that I need to erase those later. And I'm going to put this ruler on the marks that I have made. And I'm just going to slide this under and line up these two lines with my ruler. But now I have to figure out, you know, how high and how low I want it. I'll raise it just a little bit. Okay, so that is where I want it. But I need to take this in place and I don't want to ruin my paper, my card. I can use paper tape or I could take a piece of uh, scotch tape, stick it to my clothes so it gets kind of full of lint and now it becomes more of a removable tape. So I'm gonna tape that there. 
And you'll see little blue marks on it because I'm wearing a blue shirt. Okay. Now all I need to do is take a craft blade and cut out the solid rectangle. These lines here are just a reference for something we're going to do later. And so are the dotted lines. I'm just going to cut out the rectangle. And I can use this if I want to get a nice straight edge. But I think you can see what I'm doing better if I don't use the ruler. Remember, I'm cutting through three layers. I'm cutting through this template, I'm cutting through this cardstock, and I'm cutting through that. So, and you know, you might want to make two passes instead of really pushing hard, hard. Uh, and I'm using the Cricut True Control knife, and I think it's about time for me to replace my blade. Because I use this a lot. If we do a really neat job cutting, well, even if we don't, we can fix it later. But this nice little rectangle we're cutting out is usable. See, that came out. This still has a little bit of room yet, so I'm just going to go over it again. And there we go. So now we can use this for something else, like a, like a card. Okay, so we're just going to remove all of this gently. So you only get one use out of each of these templates. But, oops, you know, I forgot. Nope. One more step, and that is we need to punch this hole. So I'm using, oh, I guess it's about a quarter inch hole punch here. And so what I'm doing, and I will bring it so you could see it. I am centering my punch on that vertical line right there, and I'm going up to the dotted line. Like that. Same thing on the bottom. I'm centering it left to right on the vertical line and bringing it up to the dotted line. Okay. And now you can see what we have there. Those are what's going to hold the uh, llama in place. Now I can remove this. And really, it, that's very fast, especially if you're making several of these at once. Okay, now we need to make the llama. So we're going to stamp the llama out. And I am going to use Copic markers, so that means I'm going to stamp it on marker paper. Here's a scrap that I have. Okay. And you need to use a waterproof ink, so I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black. Okay, now I'm going to color this with my Copics. So I will tell you the colors and then I will zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm shading the llama with something here. Uh, the N1, just the N1 for shade. And I do have my zero to blend. Inside his ear, I'm using R11. And then for the, um, the oranges, I'm using YR09, YR04. For the teals, I'm using BG18 and BG13. And I've added some accents, Y19. Okay.
we go. A little bit of shade on his hat. Okay, now all I need to do is take the dies. I'm going to tape them in place. Now these dies fit super well. When you're stamping, though, make sure that you don't stamp with your stamp like all the way up against the top of a card because you have to leave room for the little notches that are going to occur. So I'm going to take this to my die cutter. I'm going to tape these down with purple tape and run them through. Okay, beautifully done. They are superbly cut out. Now all I need to do is tape, is glue these together. Make sure you get those notches glued. But again, if you just want to do the llama and on a card and not a twist card, then you don't have to do the notches. Just cut them off after you're done die cutting. Isn't that perfect? Okay, so, so all we have to do is just slide it in here like that in the notches and now you have this perfect, oh I just love the colors of this. And so we still have this which is the sentiment stamp. Okay. Now I did my last one on a yellow, but I think that yellow would get lost if I did it there. Let's see what we have. I think I might stamp it on white and then put a border around it. That might really make it show up. I just think I love the font and everything about this stamp. I got a little smudgy on that. Okay, I'm going to trim that down. There we go. Okay, so now I want to glue that to this, I think. And I'm going to use these, which are my um, my layering guides here. Perfect border all the way around. Perfect. Now I might just also pop this up because I think that will really help to get me um, the dimension I'm looking for here. Now I did use some rickrack in my first card. And I still could. It's just, it's very colorful and it helps to perk things up. Uh, but I also have some of these really brightly colored dots that I got from Queen and Company a while back. And I think those will also be good. So, Now my opening is a, is pretty wide, and I think, and I like it, it's okay, but I think another thing that would be really cute would be to utilize some of that with some trim from the back, like this. I'm just thinking, oh yeah, that is really cute. Okay, so let's get the fabric tack out. So we just want to make sure that we're not sticking embellishments out that are going to be in the way of him spinning. Let me turn this over. Yeah, it's showing. I want to make sure that they're showing a little bit there, but not too much. If you don't like the look here on the back, you know, you could always cover it up with more paper on the back. Alrighty, so now we need, that needs something down here as well. Oh, that really perked it up. Okay. 
very cute. Now you can leave it white on the inside. I like to put the pattern paper. So just take your pattern papers and put them underneath here to see. See, too busy, right? But I really love this one. This is what I used before. I love it. And plus it is also like dangly, twisty things, which kind of go along with what we're already doing. Now this one is not as busy. But I think it still distracts from the front. Um, anything that's super busy, ooh, that really brings it in too. So I like the red, and I like the other, the first one I showed. How about this one? That's okay too, but I think I'm gonna go with my first choice. And I just cut that the same as I did this mat on the front. It's three and three quarters by five and a half, and all we need to do is take the tape runner to it. So if you look at the link down below, I will give you the access to the file to cut your opening on that. I think I have 11 of the stamp and die sets for the llama right now. And I will see if I can give you a link to the paprika paper from Photoplay.